your tire leveling system not breaking out properly I'm gonna show you how to fix that solution in this video Okay, so you're using a leveling system and you got, got you got your all your tiles set and then you go the next day to break out your clips and you in your wedges. A bunch of them break incorrectly that the clip part sticks up above the tile. It doesn't break down at the bottom and you get and then you have to cut that out. So so what's the secret to uh, breaking out the clips without having any breaking correctly? they all break below the tile i'm going to show you what how to do that in uh, in this video okay so on this floor i'm using an eighth inch grout line but i'm not using a an eighth inch clip i'm using a narrower clip and i'm going to explain to you why you want to do that okay so here i've got a 16th inch clip and I'm using an 8th inch grout line and the reason I'm doing that is so that when the clip is on it's not tight in against the tile it's not like pinched in between the tiles it's like that it's not pinched in because if that happens then when you got to break this out and you get a little bit thin set between the tiles and this is kind of stuck in there so if you use an 8th inch spacer now you've got space on either side of it even if you get thin set in there and it's important to break them out the next day but even if you get thin set in there these will, these will break out properly every time because it's not pressured and it's not being held in by the tile and there's room for it to, to break out now i'm going to show you how i do that with these with these um with this one okay so i got my clips in these are 16th inch clips i don't know if you can read it on there and my grout line is 8th inch and i'm using these spaces actually I like these spaces these are nice and i'm spacing my tile with a separate spacer Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so these spaces that I'm using here are actually fairly new. Uh, they're hand tile spaces and wedges come in one. So I'll leave a link in the description to those so you can check them out. Uh, actually, really nice spaces. Uh, they can actually be put together to form a cross anyway the point i want to make is that once you got your tile set and you got all your clips in and your wedges in you want to remove the spaces uh, they're very easy to remove while the thin set is still fresh once the thin set hardens it can become harder to get them out some of them can actually get stuck pretty good it doesn't really matter what kind of space you're using you want to remove them before the thin set hardens you've got those those in and you got them all set you can take out the spaces so i get stuck in there with the sunset you don't need them in there anymore this is all in place and then 
what that gives you see I haven't put this one in here see that's got room to move it's not stuck in there so I'm gonna finish the rest of this floor and then we'll see how they come out okay so now we'll get it all down you don't take them out because they can get stuck in there I mean they'll come out but sometimes they'll be a little hard to get out and I like these because they're very easy to clean. So I actually prefer to use the one millimeter clip or uh, one thirty second for every job, but as long as you use a clip that is smaller than your grout line, you shouldn't have a problem. The reason I like the, the one millimeter clips is because the plastic is very thin and, and none of them will ever get stuck. They will always break out correctly. If by chance you should get one or two that actually do break in correctly where the leg is sticking up uh, above the tile, the one millimeter plastic is very easy to cut. It just You can just slice right through it with a ut utility knife and cut it out. Uh, the thicker ones are a little bit harder to cut out because you've got more plastic, you've got a thicker plastic. So that's why I like to use the one millimeter clips. So my suggestion is to just simply buy one millimeter clips, no matter what type of system you're using, and then supplement those with your favorite uh, separate, you know, regular spacer. These uh, Hunt spacers, uh, tile spacers are actually really nice. I like them, uh, but anything will work. A wedge will work, a horseshoe spacer will work, a T-spacer will work, any kind of spacer really. Uh, whatever spacer you have. Normally, if you have an eighth inch uh, clip for an eighth inch grout line, you'll get significantly more clips not breaking out the way they should. So to make your life easier, just use a, uh, a narrower clip with a uh, separate spacer. So just to show you how well this works, I have a couple of clips here that are all um, buried in thin set all around the clip and they're all like stuck in there but because this, the tiles don't actually touch the clips and you're breaking them out the next day they come out easy without uh, breaking the legs breaking above the tile another thing to do is instead of just whacking that the, the uh, clips with all your might just give them a little tap once uh, on one side and the other and they will always break out uh, properly the they don't need the, the the wedges and the clips are under pressure they just need a slight little tap for them to break out they don't need to be really hit hot 